What's up, everybody? Good morning, I should say. 11.54, six minutes right before 12 the afternoon. I've been up for a while because this baby just came in. What's inside this box? A lot of pain, a lot of carnage, a lot of, well, I shouldn't say carnage because then people are going to think that it's the first appearance of carnage. It's not the first appearance of carnage. Don't worry. Well, not don't worry because why would we worry? And now I'm rambling. The first appearance of one of the biggest villains ever. This guy's a troublemaker. You don't want to live near him. You don't even want to look at him in the face or in the eye unless someone who we know is around. I've had it here in my house for two days. My birthday was on Saturday. It got here yesterday in the morning early. I've had it here all day and I'm just looking at it, looking at it, looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, maybe I could open it, retape it and I saw this. <laughs> I said, man, it's gonna suck if I kind of fix it back on and it gets all loose or whatever, but um, I'm dying to open it. I hate to open it. Today's the day. Today is the day. It's gonna go down today. I have a small comic book haul. I wanted to make it a little bigger so you guys could at least have a good 10 minutes or something of good comics that you're looking at. Today's not that day. <laughs> I'm gonna showcase maybe like four or five comics. So without rambling too much, you and I are gonna open this baby together. I don't reward myself too much. I actually don't reward myself at all, I think, which is kind of bad, now that you think of it. On with the show. Intro. All right, guys, here's a better view of the books. This is Judge Dredd, Under Siege, issue 1G. Francesco Matina cover. This is the Megacon exclusive. Pretty awesome. Again, as I said before, you can see him a little bit more animated in the background with his mouth open, the standalone, grinning his teeth, ready to pounce on someone. And if you look at his right fist, there's a bunch of blood there. So he's been going nuts on someone. Beautiful cover. Mustache Pete is dead. Up next is Batman Volume 1, Issue 475. This is the first appearance of Rene Mon. Toya. Minimal characters, I said before, but I love the whole Gotham world, Batman's world. The villains are top-notch. They are second to none, and you can't ask for more. Cover artist Norm Brayfogle. Ah, please don't hate me. I am trying, my good sir. Beautiful cover, though. Very well conditioned. Love the colors on it. Ventriloquist, Scarface, unloading on that machine gun. Once again, first appearance of Renee Montoya. Green Lantern Volume 5, Issue 20A. First appearance of Jessica Cruz. This is a Doug Mankey cover. Really sweet. They're, they're pretty thick. They're not like your average comic books. I mean, they, they have a pretty thick size in them. So it's very hard to get these in a bad grade. But this is in a fantastic grade condition. You gotta love the Green Lanterns. Once again, Green Lantern Volume 5, Issue 20A. First appearance of the Jessica Cruz. We are all pawns in your world, Lord Darkseid. Pawns in your huge world. DC's number six, Darkseid on the cover. Cover by Francesco Mattina. I can't talk enough about this book, man. It is just sweet, 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 crisp look and the details in it. I mean, this guy's face is scratched up, cracked up, ready to explode. While his powers are ready to unleash, Obega memes flying around him. It's insane how beautiful this cover is. It really is, man. It really is. DC's number six, Dark Side on the cover, covered by Francesco Mattina. I'm a little worried again, because some, some beautiful, beautiful employee at the United States Postal Service, because you know those guys are top-notch professionals. Wolverine is the best at what he does. Oh, the post office people, they are the best at what they do. They don't care. They treat your packages gold. Hence this little pen that someone stabbed in the barcode. How do I know? Ink right inside the rim. Let's pray to everything that nothing happened to this beautiful book. So without further ado, let's get this baby popped open. I do own a box cutter, but I like using knives because it was around and I got to get my tool, my, my uh, tool. I have to open it, grab the box cutter, close it. This was in the kitchen, right in the slot, pretty easy to grab. So, uh, on with the show, guys. So you gotta use this almost like a scalpel, dude. Almost like a scalpel. Like a doctor. I think we're good, because he wrapped it. Well, I know we're good, because I do trust the seller. The seller at eBay had a ridiculous great rating. 
generous enough to give me the discount for my birthday. Very grateful and humble. Thank you, my good sir. Cosmic, cosmic performance and service. Peanuts. Oh, baby. Is it truly an unboxing video if you don't let any of the peanuts fall out? Let's just, wow. <laughs> There's so many peanuts on the ground. That was not a good idea. <laughs> Who could it be? I gotta send my boy Night Tiger an A-OK. -okay. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Man, this is awesome, dude. It's a CGC book. It's inside a case. I know we have to wrap it, but it's wrapped in bubble wrap, peanuts, cardboard, as if it wasn't in a CGC case. Love it. Love it. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Pretty cool. When you open one flap, it, it becomes like a door. Voila! <laughs> Can you actually see it? Man, I hope I'm doing, I'm, I'm giving it enough justice. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Superman's X-Pal, issue 134. Cover, cover, cover by Neil Adams. Jack Kirby story, though. I'm just stoked that I got this book. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get Action Comics 1. Maybe if I become a millionaire and, and, and become ultra successful. But I'm trying to get all the origins together as close as I can. Action Comics 30, I'm going to pair that baby up. Then we're going to keep building. I don't know if this book has been cleaned. The back though is pretty clean. Dude, I don't see any marks. I don't have the best lighting in here. It was actually brighter, so if the video quality gets a little darker, I apologize. It's because I don't have one of those lights yet. I will soon though. Guys, I have to zoom in, readjust the camera for this bad boy. It's just so big. Superman's ex-pal, the new Jimmy Olsen. Really, Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, issue 134. First appearance of the Lord of everything himself, Dark Side. Jack Kirby story, Neil Adams cover, along with Jack Kirby, Vince Galletta, and Al Plastino art. This is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My birthday gift to yours truly, Mr. Ethan Hunt. 9.2 CGC, white pages, first appearance of Dark Side. This is the baby, the granddaddy, I would say, to me. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Can't wait to see your videos as well. I'll see you next time. Enjoy the day, enjoy the week. Thank you for checking in on me and being a part of this. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you can. If you can't, no worries, man. We'll catch you on the flip side. And with that being said, everyone have a good one. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. See ya.